What the hell? Let's begin. I have an urgent report on the object we observed yesterday. Our satellite, the Beelzebub, has analyzed the data taken on the object and has determined that there is, in fact, another object hidden in the planet. Surprisingly, the core of this object is surrounded by what appears to be an energy barrier. And whatever the object is behind the barrier, it is spiking all of our observational readings into the red. Beelzebub's primary weapons failed to cause any significant damage to the object. Our new psychodrive was also unable to inflict any damage, despite three successive discharges of psycho power. If this object were to fall into the hands of Shadowloo's enemies, it could pose a major threat to our operations. However, if we were able to acquire it, we could amplify our output of psycho power exponentially. According to our calculations, the object will crash somewhere in the Antarctic tomorrow at approximately 1 a.m. Greenwich Mean Time. This concludes my report.
get this done. Program. <laughs> Back me up. Challenge us! Don't think that you two can win so easily! Come on, let's go! Huh? Let's do this! Fight! Just a fight! Oh. Oh.
have a lot of time. Okay, Bob, let's go. Leave this to me. It's all on the line.
no matter how much power I use, it's mine. That's right! It belongs to Jin, and Jin belongs to me. It's all or nothing! Fight! It's the use of Christ! Enjoy it.
idea of a joke? Despite the vigilant guard, someone had made off with the contents of Pandora's box, cementing its place in time as an unsolved mystery. When Pandora was finally located, it had already been opened and its contents stolen. Around the time when the box was believed to have been opened, several eyewitnesses reported seeing a pillar of light, followed by showers of bright flower-like objects. However, Whatever the contents of the box may have been, they were nowhere to be found. A few days later, the box itself vanished, leaving no signs that it had ever existed. After all of the commotion it had caused, Pandora became no more than a fleeting memory. There is no one who knows the truth about Pandora, except for those who have opened the box. Fought against strong opponents to his heart's content, Cody returned from the Antarctic most satisfied. On his way home, Cody passed through a city gripped in a rival gang war. Feeling that the gangs were not worth his time, Cody had no interest in getting involved. However, when the people of the city asked him for his help, Cody agreed. During his time in the Antarctic, Cody began to remember how it felt to be depended on, what it was like to fight for the sake of others. The man who helped save Metro City may yet make his return. That's right, just like before. Thank you for playing.